Hello, this short video will show you how to give control of one of your shared applications over to one of the participants. This can be useful if you want one of your participants, like a student, to type something in or to make some sort of modification on a file or maybe to click through to a particular website uh, without, without having them share anything from their computer. All right, so I'm going to do this uh, real briefly. Uh, first of all, we're going to start a Word document. So here's a Word document, and this is going to be student comments. And so uh, what I might do with this is I might start this on my own computer, and then I'm going to have to have, st have students log in and actually um, uh, interact with this document uh, so that maybe I'll go around and have them each type in their comments in a way that I get a Word document out of it. So in order to start doing this, the first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll just come right to this um, participant list and, and pick my invited participant and I'm going to go to application sharing I'm going to start sharing and I'm going to share that particular document this happens to be Microsoft Word I select it from the list I click on share now I'm sharing this comment the the comments uh, if I go look to see what my student sees over here as you can see the student sees other than the white the blackboard uh, window that's on top of the document they see the word document so I'm going to move the document over a little bit so I'm not overlapping so much with, with uh, the blackboard. And I'm going to put this uh, behind so it doesn't distract us too much. So here's my document now. here, And that's what I'm sharing, Microsoft Word. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask this student to uh, take control of this. Okay, so I'm going to give them permission. I'm going to select them in the list, invite a participant. I'm going to go up to Tools, Application Sharing, and I'm going to say, give control of shared applications. And so what this is going to do is give that particular participant, whoever I selected, control over my shared application. And it's going to give me a little little uh, information box. You're giving control of the shared applications to the invited participant. If you want to take back control, all you have to do is hit the shift space key and just click OK. So now this student over here, our second student, um, our invited participant, has control uh, over the shared application. So if you look on the right, you can see I can click in the window and I'm working over on the window on the right and it's showing up on the left. And so if I'm if I have the mouse control over here on the right, you can see that um, it's actually changing the application, uh, the main application. If I want to get rid of uh, or take control back, I'm going to hit the shift space key and uh, it should take control back. Now if that doesn't take control back, I'm going to come back to Blackboard Collaborate, go to the application and say um, take away control of shared applications. And so now it's going to take away control of that shared application. So now that student has no ability to control it. It's all back to me, my control. So sharing your applications can be a very useful tool when you want students to interact with a document or with an application on your, on your computer. Now, you have to recognize that when they're doing this, they're, they are controlling that application on your computer. They can save, they can delete, uh, they can make any changes that, um, that normally you would be able to do on your own computer. So use it, use it wisely, um, but also it's, it can be a very powerful tool when you use it well.